so we just finished our flag pole <laughs> with these two people Mimi and uh, Mr. Asante from Ghana he just completed a two year studies uh, in a college here uh, did carpentry and renovation. renovation two years program he just finished so instead of doing it online he decided to come here obviously three years so how many years were you given? three years three years postgraduate work well, permit yeah. so now over to you to go and get your permanent residence now <laughs> right <laughs> and then she yeah. also needed to get a co-op work permit because she's she's doing a course that requires a co-op and the permit she was given at the airport didn't originally uh, initially have that so when we we're coming today she decided to take advantage to also follow us so she also got a co-op work permit good news is that she didn't have to pay anything. How much did you pay? Nothing. Nothing. Zero. <laughs> but he my paid. How much? My one is um, two hundred and fifty-five, but I paid one hundred and fifty-five. So hundred less. Hey, I didn't even notice that was zero. <laughs> oh, so yeah. online would have been two fifty-five. Yeah, two hundred and fifty-five. But here you paid one. Okay, the, then the extra hundred you give it as offering to my church, no, the Church of Chocolate Milonia. Yeah. <laughs> you put it in the bowl, and you press it down, good measure, and then you put it down. Yeah. All right, we are still at the Canada uh, US border. So, this is the Canada US border, the Peace Bridge. So, uh, we just came out of the building. This is the building, as you can see, very huge, very tall. <laughs> so, this is the flagpole experience. I hope somebody learns from these videos and if you like it make sure you smash and destroy that like button very well okay so that others can find these videos so that we can educate people to us all right uh, to us uh -huh. beautiful mm. uh, to usa okay uh, then we turn around here that's a Canadian site. Oh. So that's a Canada. See, see the sign there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Canada. So you have Korea, sir. So those from here, they are returning from US to Canada. Okay. And see, we are going to US right now. Officially, we are in United States. Straight from here now, this is all US now. Really? Yeah. This is the water that separates Canada from... Basically, this is what separates Canada from US. So, this whole stretch is US. And then when you're going, you stay on the green side with the arrow. The opposite side is not for you, it's for cars that are coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, in case you're wondering, this is the Peace Bridge you are driving on right now. We're driving on the Peace Bridge. Peace Bridge. And what is under is the water. See the flag of Canada and US right there. So we are entering Buffalo. We are entering Buffalo, New York. So when you get a U10. Not just like that, the Americans have to process it first. Oh, really? They have to go through American border official checks. be in our car they will do everything because you two don't have your you, you have to go through US immigration checks you two you two have to so auto buses RVs trucks autos buses RVs and trucks here yeah. we are in Buffalo Buffalo New York is the first city from here when you enter New York Now when you come here, you read the signs. When it's XX in red, it means it's closed. Mm -hmm. And then the one that is open will be in green. green. You can see it. And then it will also tell you where the buses, the trucks go. Mm -hmm. The trucks will be on the right hand side. And then the buses and stuff. Normally when they are not too busy, they close most of the distance mm -hmm. down. When they are busy, then they open it. And then when you come here, it's mm -hmm. one at a time, one vehicle at a time. Huh? Okay, so that's where they are. They are checking every vehicle. Yeah, so you wait. You see where he is? Mm -hmm. I will go and then I'll wait. I'll wait here. You see, he says stop, right? Mm -hmm. The stop sign is yes. there. Also so you wait here like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in fact, the, the signage here, look at the signage right here on the left. It says uh, uh, cars, buses, RVs, and trailers stop mm -hmm. here, right? Mm -hmm. on the yeah. green sign. Mm -hmm. 
I expect we are going to get a three years for him because he did a two year study. And then there is a lady here who also need a co-op uh, permit. So we are here together. I was also done. She's also in the car. So I have two individuals here Ooh. and I'm here to help all of them. They are both from Ghana as well. So he's gone. I am next. So I get here and you make a stop based on the sign. The sign is you should stop and then you come. So by the time I've been on your camera, you are on the camera, everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, how are you? Thank you. How many people? Three. Where are you going? We're going back to Canada, here for a flat pole. Did they hold their own? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. To rest on Pumana. What's that? To rest on Pumana. Oh, they are not the best for machine. I'm mm -hmm. more machine be our effort. Hey, now come build the new. We miss your passport. My mm maiden, -hmm. they will give it back to me. Flat pole. Flat pole. Police cars over there? Yeah. Drive over there, park in the lot. Thank you very much, sir. Have yeah. a good one. Take care. So the police car waiting for us there, that's where we're going. Mm. You see, he's right there. He spoke with him and said we are coming. He described us and said three people are coming. It's good. So officially we are in the United States right now. This is all US. I had me in uh so this is where you would have passed if you are going to Buffalo right now. See? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Hi, how are you? Did they send you over here? Yes, please. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull in this parking lot right here. Yeah. Just park in there. Everybody's going to get out of the vehicle, head inside door two, have a seat, and somebody will call you up. Appreciate right? it. Thank you okay. very much, sir. Good. Door number two. Okay. So I'm going to park, and then we go in there. Okay. So... You park in any of the spots here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So notice they took the passport. But we can go there. Yeah. But before you get in there, your passport is already inside. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> system. The system is working. <laughs> it passes through some some machine or tunnels before you realize it's already got into the officer inside. System is working. It's a law. Yes. A flag. Yes. We want to be in Canada side street. We call America. Let me try. I tried it. Mm. The last trip I made here, and I tried going to the Canadian side street. <laughs> they returned me. They said no, nope, it's not possible. So they need that. They, I, they, they said I had to go to the US before. Come I knew that was how it's supposed to be, but I just wanted to try it and see mm. how oh, it was going to be like. And then, so I, I went straight to the Canadian side, and the woman kept asking me, "How did you get here?" I said, I, I, I came here and drove my car. He said, well, wait a minute, Did you? are you coming from the U.S.? I said, no. He said, but how did you get here? I said, I drove here. Said, she was so surprised. They need that paper, that yeah. paper that we're giving, yeah. the white paper. Yeah. That's a flagpole document. Oh. Without it, you won't be processed. Yeah. So when you get to the Canadian side, we're going to give it to them. Yeah. So we are now on the water, though. Returning to Canada from the United States. See the flag of Canada and US on the left? Yeah. Just in the middle. Just in the middle. As a middle point of the two countries. No passport, no demand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all have our passports here. All our passports have been given back to us. Alright, so guys, we've completed the first part of the flagpole by going to the United States and we are back. So here is the thing, the two of them don't have a U.S. visa, but they were still allowed in just because it's a flagpole, temporary access to the U.S. and returning, right? So you can still do that so long as it's a flagpole. Even if you don't have a U.S. visa, they will still allow you in. You can tell the officer didn't even ask you guys any question. Mm -hmm. Did they ask us, like the Americans, did they ask us any question at all? No. 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 
they just took our passports uh, and then they made us go inside the building. We sat there for a few minutes. Then another officer looked in the computer, took the fingerprint of the two of them because they are non, non uh, they, they are temporary resident visa was and they don't have a US visa as well. So yeah, that's it. So now, hey guys, we're back to the Canadian side. So this is the Canadian side and we're gonna go through the same process again, the same process guys. Just that it, it, this this is where we are from, so it will be much <laughs> fun. All right. Do they ask for the passport? Yeah, they will ask for the same thing, a passport and basically everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the paper? Yeah. Would they need the paper? Yeah, they will need the paper too. So I have the flagpole document here, this piece of paper. Hello. So flagpole paper and the passports. Yeah. We are three. Yeah. Thank you. Mike? Mike and Michaela. Student. So the two of them are students and I'm Canadian. Where are you guys coming from? Just over there? Yes, sir. From the American side. Did we buy or see anything? No, we, no, didn't, no. we didn't do any purchase. <laughs> The Canadian side is nicer than the American side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. See how the parking lot is mm -hmm. like huge and wide. Even inside the building is way yeah, spacious. Mm. Yeah. No, no purchases, no goose. No, no firearms, no, no weapons, no knives. Two flag poles, yeah. Oh. It's a wife, but I will say the money did the marriage certificate neighbor. Yeah, it's necessary. My name from yeah, you will be you will be the ones for them. Yeah, we're touching so yeah. on your own track. Maybe some photos of your photos, like couple kind of photos. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, if you have wedding photos, you come with your the wedding your well, yeah. collar. Mm-hmm. Because you're only seven, right? That yeah. time you're a young man. Mm-hmm. You know, see a young woman. Yeah. See a book on the road in the one more bra, but I could crave the eye any day. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, just pull into uh, spot 12 over there and then just head into the big building, okay? Thank you very much, sir. Have a good day. Okay. You know, there's something they do. They are taking money. All right, so we just finished with the Canadian side of the, the, uh, the border checks. Now we are going into the building to process the work permits. So this is how flagpole looks like. I hope you've learned something from these videos. All right. So now I'm gonna get out and yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me take my the phone out. So this is a flagpole document right here. Because it has people's information, I won't be showing you um, all of that. Uh, all right, but I think at the top, um, we could look at some aspect of it, maybe a little bit, you could see. You could see a bit of information there. I don't know if, don't know if you guys can see it. You can see what you say there, right? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically this is how flagpole is structured. And we got the passports right here as well. So we're gonna go inside right now. Okay, all right. Hello guys, so we just finished our flagpole <laughs> with these two people, Mimi and uh, Mr. Asante from Ghana. He just completed a two year studies uh, in a college here. Uh, did carpentry and renovation. renovation, two years program he just finished. So instead of doing it online, he decided to come here, obviously, three years. So how many years were you given? 
three years. Three years postgraduate work, work permit. permit yeah. So now, over to you to go and get your permanent residence now, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then she yeah. also needed to get a co-op work permit because she's she's doing a course that requires a co-op, and the permit she was given at the airport didn't originally uh, initially have that. So when we we're coming today, she decided to take advantage to also follow us. So she also got a co-op work permit. Good news is that she didn't have to pay anything how much did you pay nothing nothing zero <laughs> but he my paid how much my one is um 255 but i paid 155 so 100 less hey i didn't even notice that was it <laughs> oh, so yeah. online would have been 255, yeah, 255 but, but here you paid 155. one okay then the extra hundred you give it as offering to my church <laughs> no the church of chocolate <laughs> <Milo here. laughs> you put it in the bowl and you press it down good measure and then you put it down yeah. all right we are still at the canada uh u.s border so this is the canada u.s border the peace bridge so uh, we just came out of the building this is the building as you can see very huge very tall <laughs> right and um yeah right at the background here you can see our car is parked right there and uh, it's, a, it's a really beautiful place like it's a really really beautiful place so we are just about going out there and then we head this way back to um where we're from so this is the flagpole experience i hope somebody learns from these videos and if you like it make sure you smash and destroy that like button very well okay so that others can find these videos too. So that we can educate people anytime you want this video one of the ways you can support my channel is to always hit the like button whenever you tune in god bless you and thanks for watching i will see you another time bye yo mr santi so finally the job is done uh it's, it's a rainy rainy night it's almost 12 midnight i guess 12 midnight yeah. but we we, we we got the flag pole done tell me when i first told you about flag pole, we had a conversation what was going through your mind I was thinking, how can that be? Because I don't have U.S. visa. So how can I enter U.S. and come back to Canada? So I was having a fear of being through that experience. But um, today, I think it is easier than what I thought it would be. Now, we've gone through the process. I don't have a visa now, but I'm back to Canada, having everything done for me. Perfect experience for me. Yeah, with no US visa, but we still entered the US. Yeah. We got the flat pool done. We yeah. got back to the Canadian side yeah. and you were able to get your three years. I was ready I mean, I'm happy for you. Yeah. So now, no more school. No you more are ready school. to fire the job. You see, you. Oh. Fire, go fire the job with the job now. Go old, talk. Old, yeah. old man is going to make money. <laughs> if it's so, if it's so. He said, old man is going to make money. For those who don't know his age, just mention your age for them to know. What I'm, is your I'm age? 50 years. You are 50 years so that yeah. he came here to do a two-year program as well uh, in carpentry and home yeah, renovation. Yeah. So bring all the contrast to him. Oh, he needs a yeah, contrast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have a house and you want it to renovate in Niagara, just hit him up or link you with Mr. Yeah. Santi. is really good with good work. Really, really good. That's why he had to choose that course. All right, Mimi, tell me about yours. Flaco experience. First time you heard about it, all the way to now. Let's go. If you can come forward a bit and speak it to him. choice to decide how you want to do it. You could do it online if you are on a one-year uh, uh, studies and you want to do it, probably an online could be the better for you so that you don't start losing your time right away when they approve it, right at the border. But if, if you did a two-year program and you know you're going to get a three years, you could easily do it uh, uh, in person at the border here. And that is faster, but he got a three years, right? So he has enough time. Uh, co-op, co-op, co-op once, you can also come and do them here because it's faster and quicker. If you don't have enough time to actually get to work, uh, to, for you to begin your placement or your co-op, co-op is like internship. That's actually the name, the co-op is internship, which is part of 
most most academic uh, uh, progress that the programs so yeah that, that that is it there um but overall it was a nice experience we left home around 9 30 p.m it is about 12 o'clock now so the entire driving from there to the border 25 minutes to the u.s border from my house another 25 minutes back that's 15 minutes in total and then you give or take another one to one and a half hour both going through u.s custom immigration checks and then also going through canadian immigration checks and finally waiting for them to work and process the work permit for the two of them thank you so much for it's been raining the weather is pretty yeah they didn't stamp the passport no no stamping passports but, but they stamp my passport uh on the u.s side or canadian no, side on the canadian side because i have canadian visa ah uh, yeah because you have a canadian visa they have to mark and say that you can be back yeah otherwise yeah guys it was a nice experience thank you so much for sticking with us we'll see you another time from me and my two friends here have a good day bye bye